I'm Kira O'Connor and I work as a research manager in the Energy Institute and in the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. I joined the research group, it was, it was still a very small research group um, and like over time that developed a lot. There, there actually was a period of time there where I did actually get some formal mentorship because there was such a transition in the work complexity. At that stage at the mentorship, uh, it was part of a, a structured program. I was actually undertaking an MBA at the time. So it was the person providing the mentorship to me was external to the system. Um, and it was, I guess, more general. And it, but it really helped me put in into context, you know, the sort of the scope of the job that I was doing and sort of managing these changes and the number of stakeholders I was dealing with and really just helping me sort of scope out what uh, what I was working on at the time and it, it that definitely helped me uh, sort of settle settle in and sort of you know sort of find some comfort and and sort of develop into the role as the role was developing. I guess having had that experience there have been a couple of times since then that I've sort of sought out like I guess sort of on an ad hoc basis I guess maybe informal mentoring at times of transition um, which I've also found really useful, you know, having an external sounding board, managing managing transition in particular. In terms of style, like I think the most important thing really is just to sort of to listen to what's going on for the person, um, maybe ask questions to help help get get clarity on that and see what they really are trying to achieve, at, like at this moment in time. You know, it's always an honour any time I have been asked to support in that way, um, and it's all. There's always things to learn myself. It's very insightful really to see what's going on for other people and how they navigate their own path and you know, how they, uh, how they manage these changes in their own lives. Yeah. Having, you know, so having a, a, a work environment where there is time for that, like time for other people, you know, whether it's through a formal arrangement or through these informal interactions, you know, I think it really brings sort of so much richness to the to the work environment and um, sort of meeting you know other needs that we have for connection and contribution and um, collegiality um, and it's sort of improving that that you know the whole atmosphere I think of the work environment. I've actually just used people that I know external to external to to the to the system here in UCD so people with different backgrounds a little bit more senior than me um, these sort of, I guess, values and judgments that I would I'd trust. But I'm also involved in ERMAN, which is the UCD Research Managers and Administrators Network. So I've been a member of that since it was set up in, I think, 2013. And I've been on the advisory group for the last three years and took over the role as chair last year. And as part of that group, we've, we sort of, we see there's a really strong desire among the membership for mentorship like up to 80 percent of our members are interested in membership according to just a recent member survey the cohort of research managers and administrators face some sort of specific challenges in terms of career development especially in the, the landscape in ireland where um, roles and funding are often tied with sort of you know sort of limited time projects which can lead to sort of short-term contracts and not necessarily a very clear career progression path which is something that comes up from our members the members of Ehrman you know sort of over and over again and um, so actually you know I think receiving mentorship from somebody who kind of knows that system where you don't have to explain it <laughs> from scratch um, you know can really could really be beneficial yeah yeah well I guess I'd like to just encourage people maybe to think proactively about it and um, maybe take you know, avail of the training for mentors, which could help set you up to, you know, to get a mentorship relationship off on the right foot, uh, maybe help increase your confidence in terms of, you know, embarking on a, a, a formal mentoring relationship. Um, and I guess just that willingness to, to sort of act in that role, because there's definitely, there's definitely an appetite for people looking for mentorship. Um, so I think, you know, it, it's definitely a way to uh, you know, to give back something as well, you know. <laughs>